Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be dyeing this 613 wig to a cotton candy pink color. So make sure you guys stay tuned and watch and learn. All right, you guys, so I'm just showing you guys this dimming brush. I love it and it's very useful. But the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is fill your sink up with hot water. You're going to use this to put the dye in it. All right, so after your sink is filled up, that's when you're gonna grab one bottle of your color. You're gonna run the hot water again and you're gonna pour it in there as the water's running. Usually I do this so I can go ahead and kind of mix in without me having to mix it in too much. And it usually takes about 10 seconds to go ahead and mix it all together. All right, so little disclaimer here. Y'all probably like, why is she showing us this like this in this angle? Y'all, I broke my phone stand right before I went ahead and recorded this video. So don't be mad at me. I'm going to show y'all the best I can. And I'm going to go ahead and order me a new phone stand. All right. Now, if your dye didn't mix in as smoothly as you wanted it to, you can go ahead and take a whisk or anything that you have and reach to mix up the water and go ahead and mix it so that it's at a smooth consistency. You don't want any clumps of hair color to be left over only because you don't want it to get on the hair like that and have certain dark spots and light spots. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your wig, brush it out a little bit because you don't want to have any knots or anything that can make the hair be uneven. All right, so now that we have that out the way, I'm gonna basically just put the tips in the water just to test my color out and see if this is pink enough for me. Personally, I only will put the tips in first because you never wanna use too much hair dye and then you can't go back, but you can always add a little more to get it to the perfect pink that you want. All right, now, so from my point of view, I think I wanna go ahead and add a little bit more of hair dye just so I can get that perfect pink color and I don't want it to look too dingy. All right, y'all, so next up, this step is very important. You guys are gonna wanna go ahead and grab you either some Pump It Up spritz or you can grab you the freeze spray, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're spraying that lace down because the worst thing that you can do when it comes to water coloring hair is getting that color on the lace. Nobody wants to go through that. Okay, so now it's ready for you guys to basically go ahead and dip it into the water. Make sure you guys are taking your time because you don't want to leave any blonde spots. Just keep lifting it up and letting the water drip off of it and soak into the actual wig. I usually like to run my fingers through it, spread it out, move it around in the water a little bit. I don't just directly push it all down into the water and then go. No, you got to take your time, push it into the water, make sure everything is saturated and then it'll look good. All right, so I'm gonna just show y'all that I have it all the way down in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit. I'm not gonna let this sit the whole time yet. I'm just gonna keep checking it to make sure everything is getting saturated. But I will let you guys know when it's time to go ahead and lift that out. All right, so after letting that soak for about five to seven minutes, I've checked all through the hair and I checked the lace and now I'm gonna go ahead and brush it. Brushing the wig is very important to prevent knots. A lot of people feel as though they could just color the hair and then they leave this big old knot in it and it looks crazy, the hair starts shedding, but no, you need to brush through it as often as you can to make sure you're catching that shedded hair and to make sure everything is even.
Okay, so I went ahead and put the hair back into the water so it can soak up some more of that color. I really just wanted to take it out, brush it out, and see like if there's anything that I miss, if it needs to sit longer. But yeah, so we're gonna leave it in there for a little while longer and I'll let you know when it's ready. All right, and as you guys can see, basically the lace is not touched at all. Like it's still see-through. You don't see a pink tint to it. This is how your lace should look after you go ahead and dip your hair in the water. Alright, so from this point forward, you guys are going to want to make sure you're using cold water, not hot water. Most people don't understand that when you're coloring hair, you're supposed to use cold water so that you don't make the hair color come out. It'll hold the hair color in, it'll make the hair richer and softer, so make sure you're using cold water settings only. Alright, so can you guys see what this looks like now? I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a super closer look. It's still smooth. There's no knots, no tangles. The knots are still good. The lace is still good. This is how your wig should look whenever you're done coloring it. I don't know what other people do, but this is how it is supposed to look. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. We have a nice pretty baby pink color that we were looking for. I hope I made this tutorial as easy as possible for you guys to understand. It is so easy and simple to accomplish any type of watercolor, okay? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what else you want to see and tune back into my next video.